In this video, we're going to go over the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet, Compound Inequalities. I'm going to break this up into three videos, doing six each video. So we'll do one through six in this video. We're going to solve each compound inequality and graph its solution. Now a compound inequality is two inequalities combined together. So in number one, we have m minus two is less than negative eight, or m over eight is greater than one. We need to solve for m in each case. Let's solve for m in this inequality. We're going to add two to both sides to get that m is less than negative six. And now let's go ahead and solve for m in the second inequality. We're gonna do that by multiplying by eight over one, which is eight. So we'll get that m is greater than eight. So we have m is less than negative six, or since they're combined by or, m is greater than eight as the solution for solving this compound inequality. When we graph it, when you hear or, think union. So everything that's included in each of these. When you hear and, you're going to want to think intersection. And I'll explain that when we get to an and compound inequality. But right now we have an or compound inequality. So m is less than negative 6. We're going to find negative 6, circle that, and shade everything to the left. That's our first one. And then or m is greater than 8. We're going to find 8, circle it, and shade everything to the right. So we can plug in values of m that are either less than negative 6, so any m over here, or any m that are greater than 8 over here in order for this compound inequality to be true. For number 2, we have negative 1 is less than n plus 9, which is less than 17. Now there's two ways to do this. You can split it up into two separate inequalities. So you can do this inequality, and then you can solve this inequality, or you can do all three sections at once. I'm going to split it up first, and then the next time this comes up, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it all at once. So let's split it up into negative one is less than nine plus n. So what this says is negative one is less than nine plus n, which is less than 17. So negative 1 is less than 9 plus n, and 9 plus n is less than 17. So these are combined using and. So let's go ahead and solve. Subtracting a 9 from this one, we get negative 10 is less than n. And subtracting a 9 from this one, we get that n is less than 8. So we have negative 10 is less than n, and n is less than 8. We can combine those by saying negative 10 is less than n, which is less than 8. Since we know negative 10 is less than n, and we know n is less than 8, we can group those inequalities together. Now we just have to graph those. Remember, or is union, and and is intersection. So we have to find the negative 10, circle it, and we know that n is greater than that negative 10, but n also has to be less than that 8. So we're going to find the 8 and circle that, and it's whatever is in between. If we just had negative 10 is less than n, we could circle the negative 10 and shade all the way over past the 8, but that's not the case. Or if we just had n is less than 8, we can circle the 8 and shade everything to the left of that 8. But that, again, is not the case. We have negative 10 being less than n and n being less than 8. So this is the answer for number 2. Negative 10 is less than n, which is less than 8. On to number 3. We have an or compound inequality. So we're going to do 2x is less than 10. So divide both sides by 2 to get that x is less than 5. Or we have x over 2 is greater than or equal to 3. So we'll multiply by 2 over 1, or simply 2, to get that x is greater than or equal to 6. 
so we have x is less than 5, or x is greater than or equal to 6. So we're going to circle the 5, and this is the union, so everything that's true for these inequalities is included. So x is less than 5, so we're shading everything to the left, and we have x is greater than or equal to 6, so we're going to circle the 6, shade it in, and then shade to the right. So x is less than 5, or x is greater than or equal to 6. For number 4, we have x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 9, and, so this is an and compound inequality, x over 7 is less than or equal to 1. So we're just going to subtract 8 from the first inequality to get that x is greater than or equal to 1, and we're going to multiply by 7 over 1 to get that x is less than or equal to 7. So we have x is greater than or equal to 1, and x is less than or equal to 7. So we're going to locate the 1, circle, shade it in, and x is greater than or equal to that. So we're going to start filling in to the right, or shading in to the right. But we have an and, x is less than or equal to 7. So we're going to circle the 7, shade that in, and it's going to be everything between those two points. Number five, negative three is less than or equal to p over two, which is less than zero. This is another and inequality, and I promised that I would show you how to do this without splitting it up. So I'm just going to rewrite the inequality, and remember how whatever we do to the left, we do to the right, and vice versa, what we have left and right here, and a left and right here. So whatever we do to one, we have to do to the other two sides, or, Whatever we do to the left, we do to the middle, and we do to the right. So what we need to do is multiply by 2 over 1. We're going to do that in the middle and on both the sides. The 2's in the middle will cancel out to be 1, so we're left with p in the middle, and that's less than 0 times 2 is 0, because any number times 0 is just 0. And we have that p is greater than or equal to 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. So negative 6 is less than or equal to p, which is less than 0. Now remember, since this is an and, we're going to shade in the intersection. So we have negative 6, and that's less than or equal to p, so normally we would shade all the way over, except that we're saying that p is less than 0, So we're going to be shading this way as well, and you can see the intersection is between the two. So let me go ahead and clean this up, and we're shading in that intersection. And number six, the last one we're going to do in this video. r plus five is greater than or equal to 12, or r divided by nine is less than zero. So we're multiplying by nine over one, for the inequality on the right to get that r is less than 0, remembering the or in between, and we're going to subtract 5 from both sides in the first inequality to get that r is greater than or equal to 7. So we have r is greater than or equal to 7, or r is less than 0. So r is greater than or equal to 7, or r is less than zero. Remember to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like this video, and also to subscribe to my channel. And if you need any more help with graphing or solving compound inequalities, please go to my tutorial section, and I've done a video on this already.